Hello and welcome to the Lightning Craft Mod Spotlight. So, if you do this, and then you get a golf club, you can make it out of gold or uh, uh, iron. What happens is, you create this item, which is called Electrician, which is the kind of key item for the mod. Another item you're going to want to have is Thunderstone, which is uh, made like that. Um, what you essentially have to do is... You need to make one of these air terminals. So if you look at what you can do, you can see you can make the air terminal. So simply make the, um, you have to use plates and rods. You can basically use like a, a range of different materials. Uh, it's obviously because this is actually the main thing in the mod is to, yeah. So if you can get like 20 or 30 diamonds uh, and the, the other materials there, it, it, it's, a, it's a handier start, but you can't do less good ones with worse and the, and the uh, interestingly the the clubs are like this so there's basically uh this one's called a golf club and this one's called the golden club um so yeah this that's and it's just pretty simple uh so so what you need to do then is you need to make this energy cell so we look at the energy cell we can see that this is made up with electricity plates uh various different stuff so you put that down and then basically every time that you use the uh so this has got 419 in it. Now it's got 509. You can see that terminal efficiency going up like that. Uh, so there's various different things you can do. Like for instance, the bone mill here, like one bone mill will turn into six. Uh, one bone will turn to six bone mill. Various different recipes for the crusher. Uh, like uh, this is going to be a, an important one. So stuff like that. This... Uh, so, but it, it essentially, it gives you like like having fortune two or three, a lot of them. Uh, the infusion table. Uh, we'll talk about this in a moment. Um, but um, what I was going to say, yeah, there's also the uh, the instantly the crusher is made from the furnace. Uh, so this is how you do. It. That's how you get to the crusher. Um, so you can just you can just have something like uh, something like that. So and the furnace will work in the. Uh, in a way you might expect really pretty fast smelting um you know and it will uh, use energy from your network there um so what i've got here is another thing which is so yeah this was the infusion table uh so with the infusion table you can do some pretty powerful stuff uh chief amongst those 13 coal get you a diamond uh two pieces of nether quartz and you just need a little bit of lightning energy for that stuff uh, you can also make more electricity without going through uh, the process that I did at the beginning and then you can do this stuff which gets you into the more advanced weaponry okay so the next thing you want to do is once you've got a decent amount of uh, sky father ingots you can make this really uh, cool uh, um, weaponry and, uh, weaponry and armor and uh, it will just do, give you step assist uh, nice jumping and stuff various different things on it then you want to go to the nether and find some of these guys uh, if you make a kinetic sword what you can do is you can put a battery put a charging plate on top of an energy cell and what happens is if you make the kinetic sword then when you shift you can see i'm going to get 100 attack damage on one of these deep soldiers so if we just just uh, kill a few of them you can see that we're going to get these things these demon blood from these guys. So this is the way, and you can see with 100 attack damage, it's pretty strong. Um, but it does drain the uh, battery, of course. Uh, and you can see that it actually goes down depending your actual attack damage is dependent on the amount of energy you've got in the lightning battery, which is pretty cool. So if we just go to, uh, I can't exactly remember where it was, somewhere around here, I think. So yeah, it's pretty uh, interesting looking terrain. Uh, I'm not sure if that is actually part of it or what. But you can see just the, these guys just randomly, uh, uh, randomly spawn all over the place. And I'm just trying to find where my nether pool is. Okay, so yeah, what you actually have to do is you just get the uh, thunderstone and you transmute it into um, this demon stone, and then it's like just basically it's like a a two by two in the center, 
is the portal and you just create it like that and then it will create the uh, portal so then when you get here there's various different things is understand there's these things called uh there's like some slime creatures here as well uh they're pretty cool uh they even got they even got the uh the underwood trees as well uh, these things seem to have a lot of love. Uh, they create a lot of fire, I've noticed. Um, so that's cool. Uh, then, uh, what happens after that is you might find one of these things. And I've just literally just found it, so I thought... Uh, I'm not sure exactly what it is. But this should be the way to just sort of finish up the, uh, the final bits of the mod, I guess. So I'm not sure exactly what's going on here. Okay, so there's these skeletal guards here, and there's an actual spawner for them. So I wonder if that would, uh... It doesn't do anything with that. Um, so yeah, we can see what these guys would drop. Aha! So they actually drop the guard's bone, which you make into the guard's bone mill. And that is what you have to do later on. So yeah. Uh... So you need to make the... What is this? The ensor cell? Is that what it's called? Yeah, this thing. The ensor cell core. So you'd have to use the guard's bone mill to make that in a lightning infusion table, along with the lightning upgrade, which is just made with Skyfather plate. Uh, and this is used to make the enchantment reallocator. Uh, you need some demon stone, some understone, various different things with that. Uh, I might get into that in a minute. Um, so I'm just curious what else is in this place. Is there some kind of box in here or what? This is going to be... How much is it getting it? Six. Okay, so now the actual lightning guide is up, upgraded to even further addition. Okay. Okay, so there are various different... Oh, I didn't realise. This is only one of several structures. Uh, uh, the top rooms have got untold treasures. Okay. Here we are. Uh, who else? They do have quite a lot of nice resources. The demon stone is pretty cool. But yeah, so I guess I would need to find not this structure then. So this is a place where I can get the stuff for the enchantment reallocator. But I think probably I need to go to... Unless we're actually not even at the top. Well, it does I go actually... It didn't seem to go that high, but I guess it does. Can I get up, please? Oh, I just... So there's loads of stuff in the chests. Okay, but nothing... But nothing like... Now, they've got the Underworld Electro Cannon at the top of this thing. Uh, so that's an interesting thing. The Electro Cannon. What is the point of that? Uh, hmm, interesting. Okay, so there's another, another new, new uh, place, um, but here we've got the lightning mine. I just wanted to show it, so uh, I put replace blocks onto no, and we just basically you can use various different uh, uh, ranges here, so we can see what's... But yeah, as you can hear anyway, and you can see, it's uh, acquiring some stuff. What I did also is that I've, um, I've used these uh, receivers. So basically, what I did is I created this thing, the uh, TXRX tank, and then you can link a multiple um, uh, uh, trans like one transmitter to multiple receivers, basically. So I've got another receiver here, and we can see you can see the linkages, and then you can see the efficiency. So this one's at 64.5%. The distance is 5.4 meters. Um, this one's 62.5% and 11.9 meters. Uh, and you can see it's putting... Uh, uh, the blocks are going in here. And, yeah, and, and like I said, there's, and there's very different uh, modes for it. So we go, you know, seek ores might be a good one to have. Pretty cool. Um, another thing I did um, was... 
yeah, connected to the lightning infusion table. So this was just a, a guard's bone mill, a diamond dust, and two demon's blood to make this thing. Okay. So let's just uh, keep on chucking stuff. Uh, the upgrades, incidentally. Uh, so yeah, they do stuff like, for instance, when I put it on the lightning cell, the capacity went up to 1500. Uh, capacity is there. Let's try it on that. Uh, so I'm not exactly sure. Uh, hmm. All I can say is that definitely the energy cell is. I think it does, these upgrades do upgrade, uh, they're made like that, they do upgrade various things. So for instance that, uh, oh no, the lightning cannon actually is, uh, the, we found the underworld cannon, didn't I, just now. Um, so yeah, we can usually use it for those batteries with the charging plates. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, but the next thing then is to look at the end source of core, so I'd need to make it like so to make the enchantment reallocator. Let's look at the achievements. I'm pretty close to like, I've done all these now, yes. Yeah, so I've looked at all those. Basically, yeah, the upgrades just upgrade each of the individual machines. Um, and like I said, the 15, it does, there's more storage in the energy cell. So I will need to get I-Core from the ramparts. So I will need to go back into um, into the underworld. But let's get the re reallocate. It doesn't look like there's any uh, uh, any particular reason not to. So yeah, so like I say, the process would just be this. I just put a receiver here. Uh, you right click, it says no value transmitter. Shift right click, and it will connect to the system like so. Um, so yeah, let's look at, uh, I'm not even entirely sure how this thing works. Uh, we may need to do something, obviously something with the enchantment table. Uh, so it's probably at this point, isn't it? So I'll need to look at the uh, water temple and the stalactite ramparts. This is uh, the the, uh, the potion that can also be made into tipped arrows. Um, but yeah, where was that thing with the enchantment table? You can pull. Uh, you can pull charms from one item and stick them on another. Uh, so that should be pretty straightforward, shouldn't it? So. Let's just do something very, very simple here. Uh, so yeah, let's um, actually just take this off. We'll put this here and like this. Let's say we've got blast potential one on there. Let's see if we can remove that and put it on, say, the chest plate. Okay, so it doesn't do anything, but if I wanted to um, put it on the chest plate instead, 5 XP needed, okay. And then you need, so you need XP, lightning energy, and, uh, okay, that's cool then. Does that do anything? Oh, I need more, don't I? Oops. Uh, we'll just... Uh... There we go. Okay, so let's now... Uh... So now let's go back and try to see if I can find the remaining stuff for the, uh, the last little section of this mod. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. Uh, this is the ocean temple from the looks of it. I'm not sure there's actually anything in here, but... Oh! Okay. Early game sword. Emerald. And there is a, a guardian spawner here as well. I don't think this actually has got any stuff there. I think because... Realistically, if we're making the mystic stuff, we, all we really need is the um, the mystic uh, the mystic stuff, uh, which requires eye core. And so I don't think it is actually at the ocean temple. So this I think is just a um, yeah, it's just a is not necessarily what we're looking for here. 
But it's good to see. I wanted to see what it looked like anyway, so there it is. Oh, they do not like the demon hoarding. Let me just uh, get rid of this guy. There he goes. <laughs> Fine with it. I'm not actually sure what he's able to do. Yeah. I was shooting him with the demon warding arrows there. Um yeah. Uh. Okie dokie, let's have a look. This is the rampart section now. What's that? There's, the, there's loads of electric cannons on this thing. What do we have here? Demon fish. Cool. There must be a demon fish spawner here. Oh wow, they're actually... Uh, okay. A bit like hellfish or something, I don't know. So we've got various electricium, eyes of ender. Well, we saw it at least. Did it actually. Does, wow. But wait, I guess when I do this in my actual survival series, I won't be uh, opening that chest too quickly. Wow, that's super. That's super harsh. And I think that's like the only chest where it actually exists. Maybe there's more. No, there's not. That's the only chest it's in. And I'm pretty sure it didn't drop. Did it? No, it didn't. It didn't drop. I think I could have got there if I'd done it a little bit more quickly. So yeah, that's pretty cool anyway, so... So right, so if you've got i that's basically the last remaining thing to get. So from there you can make, with nether star nuggets, you can make that. To make mystic ingots, mystic rods, so you can make the air terminal, uh, you can do the up, the up, the the top tier uh, lightning energy receiver and transmitter. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And then, of course, you can make the top tier of lightning cannon. I guess I haven't really been able to even. I'm not even sure. Like, what happens with these cannons? And if I just happen to be in survival mode, let's have a look. See what these cannons are making. Literally, like, yeah, they are just cannons. cannons. And I can imagine what the higher tier ones are like. And so, yeah, let's, um, uh, and then the final couple of items. Oh, yeah, that worked by the way. I put the blast protection, it went, it moved on from the last section. Uh, or the one before the... Uh, <laughs> I've, I've, I've got so many little sections to edit of this video. Um, so we've got... We've got some pretty... And I imagine sustenance is for saturation, yeah, last... The whole time. The boots... Yeah, I mean, this is seriously good stuff. What does the boots give you? Travel. Hmm. And then the top tier of all this stuff. <laughs> Amazing stuff. Did I complete all the achievements? Or did I need to? Probably not.
the perfect cell. Huh. So it'd be the lightning cell, this one. This has got 20,000 as opposed to the 5,000. And I can imagine what the upgrades on that are like. But yeah, I think there's no need to... Yeah, there's a lot to this mod. I haven't even really scraped the surface of it. That's got 12 attack damage. Um, obviously the hammers are for summoning. Yeah, there's something a bit... I think I need to... Uh, let's try and just get a top tier battery there. I don't know why it seems to be slow, but yeah, that is going to do it. I don't know if I can even get on this thing. Crazy stuff. Double jump. Then again, I think maybe I need to have a, a do I need to have a cell? No, I don't think so. It's kind of weird. The arm is really good, the tools are really good. Um, yeah, did I ever check what if there were any? Uh, you know what? I'm just going to leave it there because there's lots of things I could look at, but I feel like I've I feel like I've kind of really I've looked at a I think I've looked at pretty much everything that's a crafting component. Maybe if I broke the cannon, I'd get a cannon core. There's a magnet, which are uh, just that's an early game thing. I looked at the various different swords. Maybe I didn't quite look at the frozen sword enough or whatever. Um, but yeah, let's just uh, as, as just I, as just one final thing. Seeing as I've, I've, I've literally done quite a lot in this video, I think. Um, I just want to see what the drop of these guys is. If we can uh, 